Grandpa, before you go, are there any words of wisdom you would like passed on? Well, son, you see, one day the credits will roll for everyone. Titus and I have been friends for a pretty long time, and one of the things that brought us, you know, really close together was our love for movies. Back in 2015, you know, we were going through the schoolhouse in North Carolina, and pretty much every single weekend we would go and see a movie. And there came a point when we had seen every movie in theaters, except for one. And it ended up being the best movie we had seen in quite a while. And that movie is The Age of Adeline, which, you know, was a beautiful romance movie. If you guys haven't seen it, well, we're about to tell you about it. Um, although, you know, in retrospect, maybe we should have brought some girls with us. To start, we here at VNDI Nation really like to emphasize on what we call the nostalgia factor. Something that can make an old movie that may not be so good seem, well, at least tolerable. And I was a little worried that, you know, because it was really early in our friendship and, you know, we kind of just wanted to have a friend to go to the movies with, we might have thought that was a good movie, especially since, you know, it was after a string of, well, potentially not as good movies. I distinctly remember the first time we watched this movie walking out of the theater completely enthralled by how wonderful it was. Maybe I thought it was only so good because we had just seen a bunch of terrible movies and that The Age of Adeline was just the oasis in the desert sun. A mirage. But after watching it again, I can 100% say for certain that the Age of Adeline deserves all the glowing praise that we gave it so long ago. Adeline was just your average girl. She lived, she loved, and she had a child. Her husband suffered an unfortunate fate, leaving Adeline to care for the child all alone. On one quite unusual day, an accident happened. Adeline, having experienced what modern medicine would define as a miracle, now no longer ages. As you can expect, she goes on with her life quite unaware of her newfound ability until she could deny it no longer. The FBI starts to catch on, and Adeline is forced to leave the country and assume a new identity. She creates a routine that allows her to avoid suspicion and live a relatively normal life. Then one day, 60 years later, she meets an intellectual and fetching young fellow. She deflects, but he pursues her relentlessly. She gives in, but she knows that it cannot be, because they can never grow old together. Her daughter, now quite old herself, insists that Adeline stop surviving and start living. Adeline is tired of running, so she allows herself to fall in love once more. Surprise! She runs into an ex-lover that she abandoned long ago. It's his father. He remembers her. She messed up. She can't maintain the false identity any longer. She tries to run away, and then BAM! Another accident! Right after deciding to stop running. Is this the end? No! It's another of what modern medicine would define as a miracle. She lives yet again. Who is there as she opens her eyes? None other than her love. She comes clean about all of it. Yes, even that. Do they live happily ever after? This is a love story, you bet they do. But fate has not revealed its true gift yet, for there is still one burning desire left unanswered in the heart of Adeline. But all it takes is a single gray hair to make Adeline's dream come to fruition. She will grow old with her beloved. With all movies, we like to really try to break them down and see what their real issues were. And Titus and I had a conversation about it after the fact, and we, we had to really debate because we knew it wasn't a 10 on the VNI Nation scale, because a 10 is just so perfect. But it was really hard 
to figure out why Age of Adalyn was not a 10. And I'm going to tell you. So one of the things is she is pursued by the FBI probably in the mid-60s, early 70s time frame, from what I'm aware. And during that time, there was the Watergate scandal where the government was responsible for tapping tons of phones and, you know, all sorts of other things. Well, she manages to escape the FBI by clawing her way through a seat and gets out of the back of the car, but she doesn't get pursued, which we can assume is because they didn't see her escape. But even with that being said, it, it seems strange that she managed to make it all the way back to her house, which it was then daylight, pack her bags and run away before the FBI managed to catch back up with her. And even after that fact, she was always in contact with her daughter. And it seems extremely unlikely that they would not tap her phone for, you know, finding an immortal being. That, that, that seems like it'd be pretty high on the government list. Now, I can understand how it could happen with all of the different changes of command in the FBI throughout the years that she continues to change her identity. It could potentially become a cold case, but the fact is that she maintained contact with her daughter and even met up with her multiple times in the movie. So it seems unrealistic, even though the movie did explain how she managed to get her eternal youth in an oddly scientific manner. And we also love when there are good moments of character development. But the thing is, is good character development doesn't happen instantaneously. And while throughout the movie we see her develop as a character, the decision she makes to eventually fall in love again is very sudden. And sh when she turns around to go back to her love which she's going to tell the truth that she's ageless. Um, it just seems a little too sudden, especially when there are decades of preconceived um, mannerisms of running away. So that was also a little, little on, on the far reach, a little on the far reach. But, you know, it didn't ruin the movie. In fact, it didn't even really impact the movie. It wasn't something we noticed until we talked about it afterwards because the rest of the movie was just that captivating. And that is why here at V&I Nation, we gladly give Age of Adeline our first nine out of 10 on this channel. If you've got a movie you want us to review, let us know. Leave a comment, reach out to us through social media, and if you're really generous, Check us out on Patreon where you can guarantee that we will review your movie. All the links can be found in this link tree in the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we will see you the next time the credits roll.